Here is a Momo Heritage Targa shift knob. And it's really a great blend of luxury and performance. Right now it's installed in a vintage Honda. Uh, it's actually a 1996 Honda Prelude. And this knob replaced, not the OEM knob, that was done many, many years ago, but a, a existing Momo knob from just the early 2000s. As far as getting the knob installed, pretty easy. Um, you're just basically using a little a wrench uh, to take off the other one, and this one threads right on with a couple different adapters. You can comes with a whole kit that you can sort of pick through and and make sure uh, everything fits. But this one, uh, this knob you're looking at, it's a little pricey. I picked it up for about a hundred and seventy dollars with tax um, on Amazon. Went went for Amazon on this one and. This is, uh, it comes in a couple different ways, this knob. I think it's, it comes like more of a, like a rod, but I went with the spherical shape, as you could see. And I like that because it does perfectly fit into the palm of your hand. It's easier to shift, you know, it's fast for fast gear changes and such. But the knob, it's crafted from uh, a combination of mahogany and beechwood. And it's all layered and sanded and sort of coated, but not, not like a super gloss that makes it almost look um, ridiculous, like not real. It's more of like a matte finish and just really looks great with that kind of honeycomb bee look. But uh, every knob that they make is gonna be a little bit different. It's pretty unique to just due to the natural variations in the wood. So, and then the top part has a nice leather uh, Momo kind of embroidery. Would be cool if it was a gear pattern, but that would have to be custom. I'm sure you could do something if you'd want, right? Or you could have a five, six speed, who knows? So, but it is a nice touch. Uh, it's pretty lightweight. And, um, you know, the functionality of it is just, like I was saying, the weight of this knob. It's very, very, very lightweight. Makes it really easy. But not too, not too lightweight where you wouldn't be able to feel the shifts or give you that, like, solid feel. Um, easy to hold on to. There's really no fatigue there. It looks very and feels very well made and put together and, and high quality. Um, I know that it's handcrafted in Italy, like all the Momo stuff. And this knob in particular, like I said, you'll find it at this point, I took another look. It looks like it went up a little bit of around like $169 to $199. So it is a little, it's pricey for a shift knob, but if it's, you know, if that's, if you're driving stick and you're an enthusiast, you know, it's something you're touching all, all the time when you're driving, you want something nice. And now here's a little bit of a different view without the uh, camera light on. So you can sort of see it in its natural state and finish without any shine. And this is just a beautiful, Beautiful shift knob and piece of art. The one thing I'll say is it did come with a kind of universal silver um, adapter that you would use on a normal shift, I guess, shift setup. It doesn't work, though, with this setup. Uh, it would just be like a, it's almost like a little bit of a silver ring right here. So I could not use that. This went right onto the, the, the shifter and the boot that I had there. And I think because certain models uh, came with different things, like if I wanted to use it, I could, but then the boot would not actually attach to the shift knob. It would hang down like you see on some cars, the shift knob, and then you'd have like its silver ring it came with, and then the there'd be like the actual shifter metal, uh, and then the boot would be hanging there. And I don't like that look. I wanted it all attached, keep all the dirt out and dust. So... This shift boot actually has threads and it screws on to the shift knob as well, which is which is nice. And this shift boot is old. It's again, it's from the early 2000s and it's actually a Momo shift boot, leather, nice leather, thick shift boot. They don't even make them anymore. But there's there's plenty of other companies that make these shift boots now that have threads in them as well. And you can thread it on 
so you just have that seamless connection to the boot and you don't need the actual metal piece that it comes with it's a nice piece uh that it does come with as well but again like it doesn't it doesn't take away that much from it so i wasn't too disappointed although i did email momo twice and i didn't get any response just asking them if they sell something else to make it work but i don't see how they would you'd have to get a whole different boot Closer here. As you can see the grain. And that's pretty much it.